Anyway, about five years ago, we met ten years ago, five years ago, making love. We were making love. She caught me out. We'd not had the discussion. She said, I want a baby. I've decided I want a baby. I don't like my job anymore. <laughs> oh, here we go, look. <laughs> Joking. <laughs> she said, I want a baby. I want a baby. She said, I want a baby. I said, well, come off the pill and I'll start leaving it in. <laughs> so, started leaving it in. Come, don't look at me like that. You know what's happened in this area. You know what's happened. Men used to leave it in, had a bit of respect. <laughs> say to the woman, I think I might come. She's like, all right, I'll go outside. <laughs> Down that side like the dentist. <laughs> but now, men have watched so much pornography, they think semen cheers wear me out. <laughs> oh, I've got something for you, babe. <laughs> Go and get your shower cap. I know you've had a cut and colour. <laughs> Disgusting. Disgusting. So you're still having loads of sex, I take it. Still smashing the life out of each other. <laughs> She don't know what's going on. You're she's looking out the window. You're bosh. Here we go. <laughs> I'm a hopeless romantic, am not I? <laughs> if you have a child, that might slow down a bit. You've had one. You've had one? Oh, no wonder you look so fucked. <laughs> <laughs> he looks a bit fucked for someone who's just in a three year relationship. What did you have? Little girl. Little girl. Is, is it all going? How old? Uh, 11 months. 11 months? Oh, Christ, you're right in the thick of it. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, don't worry, it gets worse. <laughs> Did you do the classes? The NCT classes? You should have done. <laughs> How did you get out of that one? Blagged it. You blagged it, didn't you? you, broke, you broke your own legs, did you, or something? <laughs> My wife took me along to these classes. They are hideous! Hideous! On a Tuesday night, you go to this Mother Earth type woman's house. She's breastfeeding her seven year old son during the session. <laughs> that ain't awkward. <laughs> she said on week four, I'm going to ask the men this evening, how would they benefit by giving birth to the child themselves? Can we have a look at that issue? <laughs> There's six of us in a circle. I'm in trap three. Not the best position, not <laughs> the worst. First chap, he said, oh, he said, well, if you gave birth to the baby yourself, he said, you would have an empathy with womankind and her struggle over the centuries. <laughs> Creating a greater relationship with your partner. I think I'm bollocks, I was going to use that one. <laughs> that was struggling. <laughs> chap number two dug in, he said, well, he said, you know, if you gave birth to the child yourself, you would have a bond with the child at a more physical, primeval level. Died crying. Nice touch. <laughs> looked at me, I'm having a panic attack. <laughs> it's all got a bit dark. She said, Mickey? I said, well, at least you'd be 100% sure it was yours. <laughs> so, we've had a lot of this. We've had a lot of this over the years. Me just saying exactly the wrong thing. And it does, it does get in the way of the baby a bit of the sex, but we've, we've come back round. She said to me the other day, um, we're having sex, she said, on Tuesdays from now on. I read in a magazine, if you don't do it once a week, there's problems in a relationship. So me and you were doing it on a Tuesday. And it was nice to know, actually, because sort of I started to leave myself alone. Because <laughs> you young fellas can reload in a couple of hours. <laughs> but the more mature man needs a chance. Back it up a bit. Because you can get caught out. You crack one off at about half past five. <laughs> she comes in, she comes in at six o'clock, a bit frisky. You go, ah, oh, that ain't gonna happen, sister. <laughs> that ship has sailed. <laughs> I'll treat you to a tie takeaway. So it's Tuesday night, she came in, I got all excited, she said, we're doing it. I said, lovely. As I went up the stairs, she put the rice on, I felt a bit emasculated. So you're putting the rice on, are you? So she said, well, we both want to watch Property Ladder. 
<laughs> I made it right, we do, we love the show. <laughs> we like it second time round, really. It's a bit pressurised the first time, and it'd be, oh, will the windows turn up? Ooh, <laughs> can't take the tension. <laughs> But it added a frisson to the whole event after 10 years. Property ladders on, the rice is boiling. I'm cracking away, I'm on target. <laughs> There's a knock on the door. It's another problem of living in a nice area. They don't stop knocking on your door. <laughs> I said, oh, yeah, I'll sort this out. I put my emergency robe on, I've got an emergency robe. <laughs> Ran down the stairs, opened the door, geezer's there. Are you aware of all the electricity options available round here, mate? <laughs> I thought, this cunt has got to go. <laughs> Double lively. <laughs> so I just let the robe drop open <laughs> to reveal the lazy lob on. <laughs> hey, he scuttled off down the path. <laughs> I'll come back, he said. I said, come on, mate, don't tease people. <laughs> you got me all excited here about the electricity. <laughs> Child was created. He's a lovely little boy. And to give him a future, we went and bought a house in a nice area. Ooh. Now, you know what a nice area is. You know if you live in a nice area, because you have a few delicatessens. <laughs> and these places have no relationship to reality whatsoever. They make the prices up in the morning. <laughs> Sebastian, I've got four artichokes over here. Any ideas? Are they organic? Yes. Mm. 30 pounds, 30 pounds. <laughs> My wife goes in them. She came home the other day with a loaf of bread for a fiver. She put it down. She said, I bought that loaf of bread, it was a fiver. I said, oh, we're paying a fiver for a loaf now, are we? <laughs> she said, oh, you don't understand what it's got in it. <laughs> I said, it better be a two pound coin. <laughs> Where you are. <laughs>